In this video, I will be providing you with the foundation plumbing, the drain plumbing, not the water supply plumbing, what it will look like for our 850 square foot two bedroom house. And before I, I get into the plumbing, I just kind of want to give you an idea of the layout of the house. This seems to help when I'm teaching um, or explaining something. So let's just take a look at what we have here. The finished foundation, we have the living room, kitchen, laundry room, bedrooms, and the bathroom. And let's go ahead and zoom in on the bathroom. And here we have our bath, our, our toilet drain pipe going into the um, vent here. And this is actually going to become a wet vent for the sink. You'll see that later on when I do the rough plumbing for, um, for this house. So the sink drain will actually be in the wall and then drain into this wet vent. And then um, the toilet actually drains into this also. So here's the vent for our bathtub. And you need to make sure that you have a slot cut out in here. And I'm not telling you to cut it out. You'll form it this way to where the uh, bathtub drain can actually be, um, the trap can actually be installed. If you don't do this, and I've seen it done before, you're going to be getting the jackhammer out. So this is very important to have this um, slot here. And then we have a clean out. The clean out, of course, this clean out isn't in the back. It's in the front of the house. And this, of course, is for the drain line going to the sewer. I think it used to be 75 feet. And I was just reading you have to have a clean out every 100 feet. So keep that in mind. And also, and now would be a good time to point out that the information in this video might not work in your country or your state. Always check with your local building uh, authorities to verify the information you see in any video, including mine. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the other two pipes here. We have the laundry or the wash machine drain here, which is a two inch pipe. And then here I have a two inch pipe coming out for the kitchen sink. I like to use two inch pipes if I can. And then um, even though an inch and a half is required, uh, two inch just gives makes me feel a little bit better, a little uh, less stuff going to get stuck in that pipe, hopefully. So now with this explanation, let's go ahead and take away the concrete and then take a look at the trench that we dug here with our plumbing pipes. Starting with our kitchen, um, we have a three inch pipe here and it is sloped at a quarter inch per foot. And that's usually the minimum requirement for this. It can slope a little further, just cannot slope um, less than that. And then here's our two inch pipe. Now what I'm going to do here is I, got, I have a two inch pipe coming up and that will connect to a sanitary tee with a two inch fitting at the bottom of the sanitary tee and then an inch and a half at the top and an inch and a half at the side. So that'll give us our inch and a half. If I was to run a two inch fitting um, out of the side, it's gonna, I would have a problem connecting my trap to that, the sink trap. So make sure that even though you're using a two inch, make sure that you switch it at the correct um, fitting, use the correct fitting. And again, there'll be more of that in the, in the future video. So I also kind of want to go through some of the parts that I'm going to be using here, but also point out that these parts might be referred to as different names in your area. So this right here, I used to always call it a combo sweep. So combo sweep, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's what it's going to be called in your area. I did look it up online and found it referred to as a combination Y and eighth bend. So that might be helpful for you. This is a 90 degree sweep or a 90 degree long turn elbow. And this is going to be our clean out so that uh, if any of the plumbing gets backed up somehow or clogged, someone will be able to come in here with a plumbing snake and uh, clean the drain line out. Hopefully, another view of it there. And another view of it here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our laundry drain. And this is going to be the same fitting as the one we had for the kitchen sink. 
it's going to reduce down from a three inch pipe to a two inch pipe. Then we have a 45 degree where we're changing the directions. And you could always do a 22 degree um, turn here. Um, and uh, you could actually use a couple of sweeps. You could have a 90. But again, this seems to make more sense to do something with, with a smaller turn in it to reduce the chance of something getting stuck in the drain line. So sometimes even though building code might not refer to something, um, a plumber is going to come in there and take a look at it and uh, or I, I should say a conscientious plumber and might make some uh, changes or modifications to an original design maybe if it's going to work better. In this case, you know, a 22 degree um, pipe might reduce the chances of it clogging, but by how much? Um, by just putting a 45 degree pipe in there. But a 90 degree pipe, that could actually create some problems. So um, just something to consider if you're going to make any modifications to this original plan here. So here we have a sanitary T. This is not the same fitting as the one we had for our horizontal fitting. Once we've come vertical, straight up and down, we can use a sanitary T here. And then this, of course, is for our toilet view of it there in the trench. Let's go ahead and remove the ground to get a better look at it here. The toilet drain will come into here and then down and then go this way. Our bathtub, and here you can get an idea what I'm talking about. I have a fitting. It's a sanitary tee with a two inch connection down here. So everything is two inches from here. An inch and a half drain line goes into a two inch into a three inch and drains away. And then we're venting out an inch and a half for our bathtub. Here we have a three inch. I can change this to two inches, which you'll see later on. I'm gonna put a clean out in here and then reduce it to two inches. And you can actually, for a vent for a toilet, just needs to be two inches. But again, I'm going to keep it at three inches so that I can put my clean out in there. And here we have our clean out in the front, if you remember. So if something gets plugged in this line, we don't have to go all the way to the back of the house. We can come to the front of the house. And another view of it there. Go ahead and put it back in our trenches. And that is it for this video. Hope it helps. Hope it makes sense. Any questions or comments, leave them in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible.